Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Delphine and today we are going to talk about the autumn winter 23-24 trends. So I had a look at a few options. I had a look at some articles online. I will put all the references in the description box below to my various sources. And um, yeah, and I actually ended up hesitating to do this video because while I was doing this research, one of the first articles I found was from Vogue and it was listing 18 trends for this autumn winter. And I was like, 18? This is just like so much. It sounds like everything is gonna be on trends. Um, does it then make any sense? And I kept having a look at some other articles and of course there were some uh, similar trends identified, but also even other ones. And I was going to 20 plus trends. And then I was really thinking, ah, does, it, does it make sense at all? I was ready to make a complaint video, you know, <laughs> and even though I'm French and it's a national sport, I thought, yeah, maybe not. Let's first think a bit more about it because, for example, I personally enjoy to watch these kind of videos and read this kind of article. And so then I was wondering, but why then? Um, and I realized that actually, yes, it can seem a lot, um, but in a world where there's theoretically almost infinite options, um, 20 is actually not that much and then um, there are always some trends that will come back and always be kind of expected but you also always have some outsiders that you did not see coming and you're like oh okay um, interesting I did not thought about that one and because fashion is a circle um, maybe it can also inspire you to go and dig in your wardrobe and get some pieces that maybe you have not worn since quite some time and now they're back on trend and also beyond that, I also find sometimes a trend, just the name, it can sound like, yeah, but we've already had that so many times. But then through the seasons, there is like slight twists, slight um, different take on these trends and pieces. And then it's always nice to see it and to see the pictures from the runways and so on, because it can give you inspirations in new ways to wear um, these trends or these articles. And so yeah, so that's why I thought, yeah, let's go, let's do this video. And um, to make it all a bit easier, I grouped uh, those trends into five big categories. Um, so let's get started with the first category. I have all my little research material next to me because it has a lot of trends and I don't want to forget anything, so I have it all by me. Um, so the first let's say group of trends I identified is what I called workwear slash girl boss. Um, one of the first thing is the tie. The tie is making a comeback. Um, we've been already seeing it uh, when there was a fashion week, um, a lot of people in attendance were wearing ties. Um, it, it's really coming back and it's coming back in a workwear style as seen on Dolce & Gabbana or Dior or Valentino for example. Um, you know, it's really a, a shirt, a, a tie, it's really workwear. And this is, for example, a good example of having a trend that can be seen in different ways. Because a tie, sure, but you can wear it in so many ways. Um, for example, you can think about Avril Lavigne. Lavigne, Lavigne I, I'm not sure about the pronunciation of her last name, I'm very sorry. Um, in her grunge uh, area and so on, you know, she was wearing it, but not, not tight, a bit, yeah, a bit grunge uh, style. And this is then here now, um, this autumn winter, a complete different take on, on the tie. So yeah, it's, it's interesting, right? And then a second one in workwear is pussy bows. Um, pussy bows, they're always here a bit. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a classic. Um, but now it's coming back really strong this autumn winter and like really big, very present pussy bows that uh, for me is a bit also girl boss, you know, like I'm here. And like we saw them for Balenciaga, also Saint Laurent, um, where we're doing these, these styles. So it's, yeah, it's a strong possible, it's a statement piece. Um, then uh, the 50s are also back uh, as a trend uh, time. And I've put it here in the workwear because it's, um, you know, this very fitted dressy with an A skirt, uh, as seen with Bottega Veneta or Dior or Balmain. Um, and for example, Dior, it's not a surprise that they're doing this. Uh, when you think about these kind of dresses, right, uh, fitted at the waist and then going a bit in an A shape, uh, 
under then Dior um, has been doing that since the creation of the house so um, it's, uh, it's it's not surprising that they do it and I've put it in the workwear because for me of course it's not something that's only adapted to workwear but it's something that would be very suitable for for work so that's why I've put it there and finally the last trend I have in the workwear girl boss is um, power shoulders so this autumn winter we are seeing blazers coats with extremely padded shoulders like really strong um, the padded shoulder is again a trend that's really coming regularly back but to different extents and uh, this autumn winter we have really strongly padded shoulder it almost makes me think of a bit vintage 90s uh, style um, you could see uh, some women workwear at the time, these blazers with these big shoulders. Um, and so, yeah, it's again girl boss. <laughs> um, and that's it so for this category. And then, what I have is a category that I chose to call um, embellishment because um, it was a bit uh, not so easy to find the uh, actual name for, for these categories. And the first one is um, flowers, both as 3D and as a print. So the 3D flowers, we already saw them a lot uh, this um, spring, summer. Uh, Loewe did this big dress with this huge flower we had from uh, Magda Batrim, I think. Uh, a lot of flowers also. You saw a lot of uh, people wearing a, a big uh, flower here on the neck and so on. Uh, and also flower print is typically something that's coming back almost every, every spring. Um, but this year it's slightly different, uh, except for the flower print, which is, for example, done by Erdem or Emilia Wickstead, which is, I would say pillars of those brands. So they have very regularly flower prints. And for the 3D, um, we see them, for example, with Prada, with Lanvin, with Chanel. It's smaller uh, 3D flowers, a bit more delicate, a bit, uh, it's a bit less like a huge flower and rather a lot of tiny ones all around. And uh, for example, the Prada skirt. Uh, I don't know if you know the influencer Jenny Walton. I follow her on Instagram. If you don't, um, you can always have a look if you like what she, she's doing. And she was once sharing in her stories uh, that this Prada skirts from this collection in also they also exist in white. And they look amazing. I mean, they look really beautiful. If you have the budget, I mean, they look beautiful. So it's, it's a very nice uh, trend and um, I think this is a bit different. I mean, this kind of small 3D flowers all over. I don't remember when was the last time that we really saw that so much. So it's, it's interesting, you see, there is also new things coming in the trend. Um, another one is lace. Lace is also something that's kind of always there, um, but in different styles. Uh, you can have it as part of the clothes, you can have it as something very grunge or very punk. And now this autumn winter, it's more um, overall dresses with a uh, play on transparency, which is, in my opinion, also um, keeping on with the trend we've seen already the past seasons of transparency um, done in different ways. And now um, this autumn winter, it's also done with lace. So this is going to be very interesting because it's, yeah, it's very dramatic, you know, it's, uh, it can be very, very, very nice. And it was, for example, done by Gucci and Off-White and Balenciaga uh, are some examples of Ren doing it on the runway. Then another one is landscapes. This one I found very interesting. Uh, so it's basically skirts or jackets with landscape printed on it. And this, I feel, it's not a new trend. Um, I distinctly remember seeing it in the past. For example, with uh, Guillaume Henry for Carven. He was there from 2009 to 2014. And he famously did, I mean famously, famously in my opinion at least, because it had a lasting impression on me, um, a skirt with a middle age print on it. And it was like, oh, so, like, yeah, middle age landscape, why not? Um, then it made me think also of Marika Trentsu. Uh, she also had a lot of things with landscapes printed. And so I feel this is a trend that every few years is coming back. It's not a very strong one because it's not so easy to incorporate in your everyday life and to wear, but it's something that's definitely um, regularly coming back. And this autumn winter, we have it again. And typically we have it at Paco Rabanne, um, Coperni, Stella McCartney, for example, uh, are doing this. Then another one is feathers. Um, so feathers, 
you have so many ways of wearing feathers. And so this um, autumn winter, they are as dresses, as tops, uh, in overall, in accents. You even have this extremely thin, just one feather top, if you dare. <laughs> uh, but it looks pretty cool. And um, it was seen, for example, with Valentino, Gucci, and Loewe. And I think this is a very playful trend, but probably not so easy for every day because, I mean, feathers, that's something very delicate, very complicated, very um, difficult, right? So I think it's nice. I'm very curious to see how it, or how it will be incorporated and used concretely in everyday life and if it will be, because these are all trends from the runways, but um, we will probably see some, of course, but there are different levels of, let's say, fashion <laughs> and you will have probably the seasoned fashionistas that are going to be able to wear some of those a bit more extreme trends. And then there's more the everyday life person, like for example me. Um, and then let's see how this can be incorporated in our wardrobe. Um, and then the last category, which is much easier to incorporate than the previous ones, is polka dots. Uh, polka dot is really also something that I think is quite of a classic print. Uh, it's really coming regularly again and again and again um, because it's almost, um, I mean, it's, it's almost never going out of style. It's just more or less uh, back at the moment. And for example, they are, we're doing now for this, uh, the runways for this autumn winter, you have choice. You can have very, very tiny polka dots. You can have middle ones. You can have big ones. Uh, has seen with Balma, Miu Miu, uh, Valentino. So the pictures I just showed were from these three brands. Um, I'm very happy about this trend because I happened to buy a few weeks ago, or I think now it's been a few months maybe already, um, a Cezanne skirt, uh, skirt, shirt, which has polka dots. So I'm like, yes, this is one trend where at least I, ha I have something and it's a trend I find nice and really easy to incorporate uh, because yeah, you can just have it in so many different pieces, you have different sizes, so I think everybody can, can find something, if you like it, of course. Um, then that's it for the embellishment uh, trend. And the next one, I called it winter classics. It's, in my opinion, trends we more or less see every, win every winter, and for good reasons. So, for example, the first one is cozy coats, of course. Autumn, winter, it's gonna get cold. You're gonna want to get yourself cozy and warm, so you want a cozy coat. <laughs> and for example, there were some um, seen with Ferragamo, Copernic did some, Bottega, Gucci, a lot of them uh, did them uh, with fake fur also. Uh, you have the iconic classic um, Teddy coat from Max Mara. Uh, I think by now it's yeah, it's, it's, I think, what you can call an iconic, uh, classic, uh, timeless piece, uh, that coat. So I will not be surprised to, to see it again uh, this autumn winter. And also maybe Max Mara will release again new colors and things like that. But so cozy coats, no big surprise. Um, another one is uh, knit, knit wear. Again, not very surprising. It's autumn winter. You're going to want uh, some knit wear. So Chloe, uh, Off-White, I've, I've been doing some, for example. Um, yeah, nothing very surprising. It can be worn in many ways, um, as you as you like. Uh, there were a bit of everything on the runway about that. Um, another one, also quite classic, um, is leather. Leather you see anyway almost all the time. It's also something that never goes really out of fashion. But now this autumn winter, what I found interesting with the way the leather is worn, is that it's worn as a, um, it's called trompe l'oeil. So it, it almost does not look like leather. So for example, McQueen uh, did this kind of purple trench, which is obviously leather, but it almost looks like fabric, you know, uh, when you see it. And Bottega Veneta, which are leather master, uh, I mean, it's their, the skills uh, on leather are, are, are really incredible. They've done a combo of a short and a shirt that almost look kind of like a pyjama. And it's leather, and you see it, and and you you will never think it's leather, but it is. And this is also interesting because yeah, leather is always something that's here, but sometimes um, it can be in so many different ways. Leather is something that can be interpreted uh, almost without limits. And so this autumn winter, it's more worn as um, almost as if it were not leather, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, 
And then the last uh, trend I have in that category is tartan, tartan. Um, you know this uh, Scottish print. And this I also put it in the winter classics because I have a feeling this is um, a color combination uh, and a style that we see again much more for autumn and winter. Um, it's been worn, for example, by as Burberry is of course uh, a house that that mastering tartan. I mean their their um, um, let's say emblematic print, right, which we will find inside their coats and so on, is a take on some sort of tartan. So of course they are masters of it. So there was some from Burberry. There was also Andreas Kronthaler for Vivienne Westwood, also a British designer. Designer, so also not a huge surprise that uh, they will have some mastery of the tartan. Um, and then Dior also also did some, and uh, it's not their first take on it. Uh, they also regularly do some things, but so it's um, yeah, it's very nice. I think it's also something very classic. If you have, you might already have some pieces with, with tartan. Uh, tartan, I don't know how to pronounce it, I mean the Scottish print. Um, and if not, I mean, I think it's not a bad investment to, to buy something with, with this, uh, because as I said, it's really it's almost intemporal, it's, it's timeless. It's something that's always coming again and again and again. And even if it's not on super trend at the moment, you can still wear it. Um, it's, it's, really, it's really a winter classic. Yeah. Um, then the last category, or no, no, the four last category I had, sorry, is colors. And here I'm going to go quite fast on it because um, I have a feeling this autumn winter almost all the colors are trendy. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but some are, are very classic and expecting. So black and white, for example, uh, gray is, there was a lot of gray, but kind of like every autumn winter. Red is also strong. Uh, but red is often a, a strong trend. It's not the first time. I mean, it's regularly. Uh, red is particularly loved. Then uh, oh, camel beige um, overall. This is also something, especially in autumn, that we see a lot. Every autumn, we see a lot of it. Um, so it's not very surprising. And then this is maybe a bit more surprising for autumn winter, pastel colors. Um, this is often more a spring summer trend, but this autumn winter pastels are also trendy. Um, they did not speak, interestingly, there was no mention of pink, although I have the feeling we are we had this huge Barbie core uh, trend, and I could see this well going on a bit still in the autumn, um, but apparently it was not so seen on the runway at least. So I would be curious to see if pink will be more of a color we will see also actually in the autumn winter but so yeah there's a bit of kind of all kind of colors are, are trendy for for this autumn winter so just have fun with whatever color you you like and then the last uh, color uh, or the last trend i've i've um, identified let's say i called it still there slash coming back it's trends um, that we have been seeing the past seasons. They've been there and they are still there, basically. Um, so for example, there is the shorty, you know, the extremely short uh, little, little shorts. This trend of the extremely short uh, bottom parts, let's say, uh, started already with Miu Miu in when they had their runway in October um, 2021. It was then for spring, summer 2022. And that this mini, mini micro skirt, I think you, you probably have heard or seen it. Um, and then this started this whole trend of really short and showing your legs out. And then we saw also a lot of influencers and models going with um, basically just uh, um, tights and, and a panty on top. And so this, con this continues, this stays at least on the runway and goes into the autumn winter. Um, we saw it yeah, with uh, Vivienne Westwood, Miu Miu, Ferragamo, for example. Um, then another one is the double denim. Um, this again, I have the feeling denim uh, and double denim has been trendy at least since a few seasons. I mean, it was already in spring, summer. I remember seeing a lot, lot, lot about it. I think last autumn, winter, it was also ready. And it's here to stay. Um, it was with Ami, with Versace, a um, lot of denim and denim. So if you like this trend and hopped on, keep your stuff, 
it's staying strong. <laughs> then um, another one is a little black dress. Um, this also is the same. I feel this is really something that's again never out of trend. It's been trending all the time. Um, the, the twist uh, this autumn winter is in the shape of the décolleté, which is a bit more graphic. Um, so that would be quite interesting. I mean, it was, for example, with Loewe, with Alexander McQueen, with Louis Vuitton, that you had yeah, this little black dress with very graphic décolleté. It's not just uh, classic, but a bit different, like a little twist on that. So this was, this was also nice to see. Then, um, quiet luxury, so I call it also minimalist or, or timeless, let's say. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm losing all my papers. Uh, timeless uh, style, um, this is uh, staying. It's not going away, but I have the feeling, so it's, and it's hard to call it a trend in the sense that it has always been there. Uh, now it's got very strong with the quiet luxury uh, style. Um, but yeah, it's always there and it's it's staying um, quite luxury, stays for the autumn winter. So if you like this trend also and changed a bit your style or, or found new confidence in wearing this style, then that's perfect for you because it's still there. And finally, the last one, last but not least, it's the skirt over pant, your 2K style. Um, this was a bit crazy for me. Uh, it was seen, for example, by Fendi, Givenchy, Chanel also did that. And this is a trend that puzzled me, to be honest. Um, it's something I never completely understood. Um, even when it was trendy at the time, uh, 90s, to, uh, 2000s, I never got it. I still don't. <laughs> and so I was very puzzled to see this coming back or being there again. But yeah, a very little trend. So if you liked it and you're nostalgic of these years, then um, now would be the time to uh, indulge and get your skirts over your temp your pants. Sorry. <laughs> and that's it, guys. So I think I'm try to manage to summarize the things without making this video too long. If you have any question or anything, please uh, write a comment down below. Ask me. I will do my best to answer you. And. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want, you can watch another video in case you have not seen it yet by clicking here. And if you like this video and you like my channel and you want to see more about what I do, then you can click there to support me by subscribing. And yeah, I will see you in the next video and I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. Bye.